today? Oh yeah, it's just like stuff in the red carpet, red carpet, <laughs> big time like that, BT Awards and stuff. You mean, but they have a police escort and a limo and all that, I mean? I, know, I ain't had that in Kentucky, so that's big time. You know, we, I ain't never seen nobody swerve through traffic like that. We was making moves and the cop was moving and excursion was sliding, so it was pretty nice to get here and see everybody else, I mean, see me come out. What does it mean to see this level of excitement for your arrival? I mean, uh, you said it was like that in Kentucky, but to see it in a, in a big well, city where, you know, uh, it means a lot, you know, like like you said, Kentucky was a big place, but to do it in uh, uh, Washington, D.C., in the national capital, it means a whole lot. And to see them come out just for uh, the John Wall thing, means a lot, so I, can't, I hope they show more support like that during the season. And to have the mayor give you a proclamation and proclaim it your day when you first arrive, I mean, where do you take it from here? Uh, that's a big statement. Next, I guess the president got to say I got a day, but you know, you <laughs> before and you just keep going and you know stay humble and, and just keep working and, and stay motivated from it. What do you What do you expect to do over the next couple of days? I mean, will, uh, you, will you reflect on this at all? Uh, yeah, do you enjoy it? What? But you can kind of enjoy it, but you know, I, last night I enjoyed it a little bit with other other the draft prospects and went out and hung out, had a good time. And um, basically, you know, just take a couple of days off and relax and just to, uh, get myself prepared for the summer, you know. Just let my body rest a little bit. I haven't been that much sleep for doing so much. So take a couple of days off and uh, make sure I'm staying in shape while I run on the treadmill and stuff, stay in shape and uh, get prepared, ready for that summer league. Do you feel like there's kind of too much expectations for someone, 19-year-old, coming in here, rookie? Like they've already got your name on the side of the building and stuff? Uh, it's, it's, I never heard nothing like too much pressure. It's up to you if you really want to say it's too much pressure, but... Like LeBron said, he told me don't try to live with all the hype, just play everything like you love it and just go out there and play and play the way you know how to. So that's all I basically know how to do. What were you thinking when you looked up and you saw you know, Donald McNabb and Alex Ovechkin and you uh, know, all was, these people doing your dance? And <laughs> I was happy to see a 19-year-old kid, see people like that that I looked up to in the football side. And I watched hockey a little bit and I watched Mason, basically him and Sidney Cobb, the two best players. And Strasburg is one of the top uh, young pitchers coming into the game now. So to see those guys do, you know. We try to keep the uh, brain sports back in D.C. and I'm going to support those guys this season and try to go watch a couple of their games. You going to help Ted out with the rhythm? I know he was trying. Oh, yeah, I'm going to watch it. Yeah, he, he tried, but it's like he lost a little step or two. <laughs> Did you know that uh, before you came tonight that you had a banner on the arena? And what were your thoughts when you saw that? Uh, that was big time. I thanked him, thanked him for doing it and uh, showing me that much respect. And I, I didn't know anything about it until I got here. I, all of it was a surprise to me. I know you've talked about this a million times, but the, with the 11 thing, are, are there any numbers that, you, that you've worn before in the past? Uh, I wore 15, 43, 1. I wore a lot of numbers, so I have to decide something and figure it out pretty soon. Do you think there's a chance that you would try to work something out? Uh, I think it's going to be tough, you know, nobody else. Nobody ever uh, got somebody's jersey unretired reti- and wore it, so <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. So people were saying maybe you should do 44 since that's Obama's. You know, he's the 44th person. Oh, that's the the I don't know. That's the too high of a number. <laughs> probably going to think I'm a running back or something. Is there a couple that you haven't narrowed down to? Nah, I, I like number you know, 15. I like that one a lot. I like the three. Uh, not too many nibs. I also used to win number 11 after a couple of while, so I had to change it up. We won't be too bad. I just have to ask because I cover the other sport. Can you? Do you have any thoughts about the World Cup? You're going to watch the games tomorrow. Yeah, I want USA to win. I was happy the other day. I almost uh, broke the lens in my room when they hit the goal because he made this assist and he bricked it. And then he just basically scored the last second. You know, it's nervous. It's soccer. It's a tough sport. You got to be in a lot of shape. You got to take beats because you get kicked and, and bowed in the mouth. And I don't understand why they get yellow and red cards. So I'm just happy that anything for my country, I'm going to support it and just hope they win. Of course, you played goalie yourself. And you... uh, that, that didn't work. I got hit in the mouth and broke it too. So. <laughs> It was the last week playing goalies. So I give credit to them goalies because these guys are more experienced and really on the top level you can be and kicking the ball hard. So imagine if I try to play goalies, it won't work. <laughs> you know when you were signing all those, sorry, when you were signing like all those autographs. I know upstairs you did it, you did it outside. I'm, I'm sure you did it in here. So do you think that you're gonna get sick of that? I mean, uh, you get tired of it at times, but why not do it sometimes? You you might not can't sign all of them, but you gotta stop and sign some of them. You know, the kids look up to you and. They just like me, if I was at the age and I got to see a guy in the NBA, I would want an autograph. So I try to do the little kids as much as I can, you know, get the grown-ups last because the little kids, they got something to cherish. The grown-ups, you can see them again around. So I, it ain't everybody autograph. I try to stop and meet through a couple. How much are you happy to kind of just have this whole thing kind of wind down a little bit? I mean, I know it's been, it's got to be intense. I mean, you know, L.A., Raleigh, New York. Uh, stuff, yeah, I'm uh, so I'm so happy for you. You know, you, see, you came out of L.A. and see me. I was working out a lot pretty hard and I got a chance to go home a couple of times to see my sister graduate and then basically in New York and I was that felt like a job there. Didn't get that much record. It's like playing games already, so
just to get a couple of days off will mean a lot. Where are you going now? Uh, I'm going to go back home tomorrow, and then I'm going to go to Miami for a couple of days in the last. Uh, there was uh, there was a, there was a long uh, feature article on you in the Washington Post on Sunday. Um, did you get a chance to read it? And uh, what was your reaction and your thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, I read it. Everybody said it was a great article. And I think it was too. You know, it was a great. I mean, Mike was in there. Did he talked to my mom and him and did a great story. And it's, I wanted people to see how I really grew up and what I had to go through. And I think that's the main thing is that they should do a story on a lot of kids like there are people coming up because most people just go about what they did in their, in their future or in their past. So I had a great time to tell my story and now people really know what I went through and they felt kind of emotional and sad for me. Now, were you, were you um, there was some, after that there was some outbreak online about um, some of the, um, towards one of the journalists. Do, or, do you have any ill will towards Towards him, or it's, you can't, you can't really be upset. Or your thoughts, I guess. I really, I really didn't think of it too much, you know. I was just, you know, they gotta do their job. They gotta ask questions. So you, you can say no in a mean way or a nice way. Tell how to do it. And, you know, it was a story, so I feel like you know people should know what it was. So I wasn't too upset about it, but it seemed like a lot of uh, fans or other people was kind of upset. But it was alright with me. Were you surprised by any of the revelations? Were you surprised by the revelation? Yeah, I was surprised that some people was upset about it. I felt like. Oh, were you, were you surprised by the information that you shared with you? Oh, yeah, I was surprised. I didn't know anything. Like, nine years old, you really don't know too much. And I never asked my mom about it. I just, just let it go by, and she never told me to this day. And to hear from somebody that's not my mom, that's kind of tough to get it from. But, you know, like I said, it's a story. So guys are going to ask certain questions and want to know what's going on. Do you, do you have any plans of uh, house house hunting, or do you have, where are you going to live in the area? Uh, no, I don't know. I want to be the closest to the gym, though, so I can film anything I want. Your mom seems to be tired right now. She. <laughs> oh, we all are. You know, it's, it's a big day for us, and yesterday was a tiring day. But you know, you got to be professional and get what you get your job done or what you uh, came here to do, and get your rest when you have time.